Hello, I'm Janet Ward, a high school science teacher and asteroid researcher. Most people only think about asteroids when there's a danger of one hitting the Earth. In fact, space debris enters our atmosphere every day, and there's plenty of evidence that asteroids have made their presence known throughout our planet's history. And yet, thankfully, the chance of an impact great enough to cause major damage remains quite rare. Aside from the drama, asteroids also offer clues to our solar system's past and are important stepping stones to our exploration of space. You don't need a fancy telescope to engage in asteroid research. You can see a few on a clear night with nothing more than a pair of binoculars. All you really need is internet access and a willingness to indulge your scientific curiosity. That and a potato. Now we're going to learn all about asteroids, some general things. Our solar system consists of a single star we call the Sun, several planets, moons, and around a million and a half minor planets or asteroids. These range in size from Ceres, about 952 kilometers in diameter, to objects smaller than a baseball. If you squeezed all the minor planets together, they would form an object smaller than our moon. As leftovers that were never consumed by a planet or moon, these objects offer a glimpse at our solar system's formative stage. Most can be found in a vast region of space between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars, known as the asteroid belt. One explanation about why we have so many rocky remnants is that Jupiter's gravitational forces counteracted those of the objects themselves. Instead of coming together to form a planet, these rocks fell into neighborhoods within the belt and elsewhere in the solar system. What do we call them? Here's a primer for the most common terms. Named after the figures in the Iliad, Homer's epic account of the Trojan War, the Trojan asteroids are located within neighborhoods 60 degrees before and after the orbit of Jupiter. These positions are not accidental. They are called Lagrange points, after the 18th century Italian astronomer and mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange. A Lagrange point is a sweet spot where the gravitational grip of a larger object, in this case the planet Jupiter, can capture a smaller object, but isn't powerful enough to pull the object out of orbit. Of five possible Lagrange points, two located 60 degrees before and after the large object's orbit are called L4 and L5. Objects parked at these locations are stable and relatively secure. It is at these two points that the Trojan asteroids hang out. Astrophysicists have used computer simulations to test theories and offer possible scenarios about how things could have been at specific moments in time. In what is called an end-body simulation, it is likely that early in the solar system's formation, the asteroid belt contained far more rocks than we find today. The population declined due to collisions and Jupiter's gravitational pull, which can act as a catcher's mitt snatching debris into the planet itself, or flinging the rocks out of orbit into other parts of the solar system. A major misconception about the asteroid belt popular in science fiction movies and computer games is that asteroids are small islands in space so close together that only a skilled spaceship pilot can navigate among them. In truth, asteroids are so far apart that if you stood on one, be lucky to glimpse one other asteroid very, very far away.